Chair, there's not a lot that surprises me in this place, uh, but I, I am quite shocked, frankly, by the approach that the NDP has, has taken. So here, here, here's where we are, right? Over $40 billion that the federal government is, is planning on spending on these various subsidies. Information has come out that uh, these subsidies are, uh, in many cases, going to fund foreign replacement workers, not creating paychecks for Canadians, uh, but supporting foreign uh, replacement workers. And as a result of, of a lack of transparency around these contracts and concerns about how this uh, spending of Canadian tax dollars is, is going to bring in foreign replacement workers instead of creating good jobs here in Canada, uh, Conservatives have sought transparency from the government. We've tried to get copies of the contract, which we believe that the, the shareholders, the, the taxpayers, the people who are paying these subsidies, and the workers who are affected by them deserve to see. So we uh, signed the required letter, brought this committee together, and at the time we had the support of the other opposition parties saying that these contracts should be made public. And uh, I, that is a principled position that I think is, is widely supported uh, by Canadians, especially supported by workers. We stand with workers. Uh, we believe that, that, uh, that creating good jobs for Canadian workers is critical uh, and that, the, um, that the, the government has an obligation to be transparent uh, in these cases about public subsidy and about uh, what the impact of that subsidy is going to be in terms of, of workers and jobs. And we just had at this committee the NDP... After, after liberal filibustering to block that motion, we had the NDP. Uh, we had the NDP fold. We, we had uh, after grand statements by Mr. Massey on, on transparency and on supporting workers, the NDP have folded like a cheap suit and voted against our motion. We just had a vote on our motion to require the disclosure of these contracts. Now, the Liberals had been filibustering. They ended their filibuster. Our motion came to a vote, and the NDP, despite saying they supported the motion, despite the fact that we had incorporated a number of their amendments that refined the language, the NDP voted against it. So much for transparency, so much for workers. A little bit of pressure from the Trudeau Liberals in the form of a filibuster leads the NDP to changing their, their, their uh, position and abandoning all of their stated principles. And what do we have before us? We have this motion from Mr. Massey that says a parliamentary committee should file an ATIP. Mr. Speaker, n n news for anybody watching. Any member of the public has a right to file an ATIP. Parliamentary committees have a constitutionally protected, unfettered right to send for documents and to set their own timelines in the process. We don't have to go through the, the long drawn out and frankly as a result of this government's action uh, in, in increasingly troubled and broken ATIP process. We can send for and order the production of documents and this committee has an unfettered right to request those documents. And after, after a little bit of pressure from the Liberals, the NDP position is, well, okay, we're not going to order the production of these documents. We're not going to make them public. We're going to have a parliamentary committee file order, an ATIP chair. request. What a debasement of the rights and the role of parliamentary committees. What a disgrace.